What's up guys, I'm J-Man, and welcome to a new series that I call Forgotten Cinema. Now this is a series where I talk about movies that I feel are have either been forgotten or are just not really talked about much anymore. So I want to bring them up and talk about why I like them and why I would recommend them to you. So today's first installment is the 1996 fantasy drama Phenomenon. Directed by John Turtletaub, the film follows George Malley, a small-town mechanic who sees a mysterious light in the sky. After that, he has an increasing thirst for knowledge, gains a higher IQ, and even telekinetic abilities to boot. Meanwhile, the town folk start treating him differently, and his love interest, Lace, acts very protective of herself and her two children, until she realizes that she may have feelings for him, too. The mystery behind his condition becomes more and more questionable, hence the title Phenomenon, until it's revealed towards the end what it really is. Overall, the film becomes an insight into the potential of the human mind and a celebration of the human spirit. So first, the little things. The cinematography in the film is gorgeous. The lighting, the landscapes, every frame looks perfectly picturesque. All done by Greek cinematographer Fedon Papamikael, who at the time was a regular collaborator with John Turtletaub. The film's score was composed by well-known film composer Thomas Newman, famous for movies like American Beauty and Skyfall. The movie's cast is comprised of cinematic all-stars like Forrest Whitaker as George Malley's best friend Nate, Kira Sedgwick as George's love interest Lace, Robert Duvall as the local Dr. Brunder, and one of my favorite actors of all time, John Travolta as George Malley. Throughout the film, George is a very simple character. He has such a childlike innocence to him which makes it all the more daunting when he has his experience and starts to change. Travolta really added a level of charm to his character that really helps him be all the more sympathetic. For instance, during this scene, he first shows the Doc his telekinetic abilities. Ooh, uh... <laughs> it's telekinesis. Yeah. Now, in the original script, George's character was supposed to say, I know, I read about it in a book last night. But instead, Travolta ad-libbed the line, Is that okay? And it was so sweet that they just couldn't help but leave it in. One of the main themes the movie deals with is the fear of change. At the beginning, George and the rest of the townsfolk are happily content with their lives and the way things are. They represent the simplicity of life in general. However, when George starts to change after the sighting, they become increasingly wary of him. He mysteriously finds a sick boy in an orchard and predicts an earthquake just by sensing vibrations. People start looking at him strangely and asking him all these pummeling questions. They treat him like he is literally from another world. But the truth is, George never really changed at all. He's still the same simple guy who just wants to share what he knows and even inspire people to learn what they've always wanted to know. Aside from all that, this film is also a bit of a spiritual piece. Not necessarily in a religious sense, but more in a nature sense. It deals with the themes of interconnectedness, how everything technically comes from the same place, whether it be a bug or a tree or a person. There's a scene where George sways with a tree that's blowing in the wind, as if he's letting all his troubles flow through him, like the wind blows through the trees. Even his telekinetic powers he describes as being connected with different objects through some kind of energy. A partnership, he calls it. Now, there is one thing I want to talk about, but it requires spoiling the main twist in it, so if you don't want to know what it is and you want to see the movie, skip to this part in the video. Otherwise, if you have seen the movie, or you haven't and you just want to know what it is, then keep watching. Three, two, one. So towards the end, George ends up in the hospital and the doc tells him that he's suffering from a malignant brain tumor, causing high function and illusions of the light in the sky. But what they can't figure out is why it's happening, because tumors would usually do the opposite. Now, a lot would think of this as a complete cop-out on behalf of the story. I mean, he had all these abilities, and the best they can come up with is a brain tumor? No alien conspiracy or anything? Well, George actually addresses this in the movie himself. I'll tell you what I am, okay? I'll tell you what I think I am. I think I'm what everybody can be. Everyone with a malignant tentacle. No, 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 no. It's, 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 that, that, that just helped me get here. Okay, I mean, anybody can get here. It's, I'm, the, I'm the possibility, all right? If I had to no, choose between a tumor that got me here and some flash of light from an alien craft, 
I'd choose the tumor, I would, because it's here, within us. What I'm talking about is the human spirit. That's the challenge. That's the voyage. That's the expedition. The movie poses questions to the audience of how is a person defined by the things they know or the way they treat and interact with other people? And when we pass on, what is it about ourselves that stays behind? The things we teach or the effect that we leave on others? Now, if I had anything to nitpick about this film, it's that it could have been a masterpiece if the people behind it had treated it as such. As it is, it just seems a little too simple in its execution. The first 20 minutes or so do seem kind of rushed, and unfortunately some of the background characters seem like stiff archetypes that are clearly not meant to be taken seriously. But overall, this is one of those great slice-of-life films that deserves to be remembered, so when you can, please give it a watch and see for yourself that there are things in life that just can't be explained. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media stuff, and hit that notification bell for recent updates.